Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders and the bishops of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught me this word in truth and sincerity. And peace and mercy to the elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. All right. Um, this lesson is going to be uh, an, uh, another uh, news alert. Nothing crazy, but um, it's still um, something to uh, look at and uh, take in because at the end of it all, we're watchmen, all right? We are set up as watchmen to watch the events that take on, that, that play out on earth and link them to, to um, Bible prophecy, right? So that the, uh, the sheep can be fed. Now, as you see the title here, it says, Emergency Declared, Quarantine Announced, Backyard Chicken Owners Must Register, and reason why i'm going into this is because it really um sheds lights on esau and what the what the scriptures say in terms of prophecy and how this devil is going to behave as we get closer and closer towards the end right um let's actually get that here real quick revelation 13 i might actually read this one more time because i want to let the video play and then get this piece up again but, um, right, so Revelation 13, and Slacker. You know what? Slack it. Bear with me one moment. I'm going to have to look this up. Okay. Slack it. <laughs> Revelation 13 and 11. And it says here, uh, let's go by the view. So Revelation 13, 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns. So this beast represents um, Esau Edom, okay, ruling out of uh, its Patsy country, which is America. And if you don't know what the word Patsy means, um, go look it up. It basically just means a fall guy. So uh, America is the fall guy for the um, top banking elites of the world, starting with the Edomites. Okay, so within America, you have a a, um, a uh, two sided political system, right? You have the left and you have the right, um, Democrats and Republicans, and they're used as um, these are the two horns, okay? And they speak as lambs, so which means they're used to basically keep you know um, they're set up to keep you people, especially you Israelites, in complete in, in a complete docile and confused state. All right. Um, he had two horns, but he spake as a lamb. So that's the system, right? This system, this beast system. And it says, like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So that, that goes into my point about these um, these laws that Esau's putting out, you know, every day. They're becoming more draconian, okay? And they're going to get more draconian. And that's what we're seeing with this devil. He's that uh, He's turning into that dragon. He's speaking as a dragon now, so he's showing his true colors because, again, what did the scripture say? Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, Revelation 12 and 12. It says here, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. Right? So those of, you, those, of you that are, those of you Israelites that are in the world, and you're wishy-washy, you're lukewarm, you're not very serious about this truth, just re just rejoice and live it out here in this kingdom, man. That's really, that's really why you're not 100%, all right? It's because deep inside, you don't really believe in the truth. You don't believe the kingdom of heaven is going to be established on earth. So you think this is heaven. This system, this beast system is heaven, so live it up, you know? It says, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and 
ye that dwell therein, ye that dwell therein, in them. Okay, because you only have a little amount of time before the Most High sends his son Yahweh Shai to completely decimate America, okay, and other parts of the earth. Not the whole earth, but other parts of the earth. All right, Israel will get hit. All right, um, um, Russia will get hit. I believe parts of Canada will get hit. Toronto, definitely. I think Toronto's going to get blasted away for sure. Okay, so it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. So this devil is about to come down, having great wrath. All right, and we got a, and we saw a foreshadowing of that during, um, you know, the, uh, um, you know, the first Black Swan event in 2020. I'll say it like that because I don't even know if I can even say that word now. Right, the first time that happened, and it was a foreshadowing of that with the lockdowns and everything else. Now he's collected his data, he's done all his research. So the second time around is this is going to be the final thing. All right, Apostle Zahar has dubbed this year the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. And the Spirit's been with him every time he's been dubbing years, right? Every time he's been classifying what year it will be in the Spirit, it's come true. So the Most High is dealing with him in that way. So we're, we're, we're hastening the day, man. We're hastening the day because that means we're that much closer, okay, to the kingdom of heaven. So anyways, it goes on to say, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time and these devils know that because they're looking at the pro looking at the prophecies and 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 the the major prophecy that's sticking out to them these devils is us out here on the highways and byways and on the internet all right flooding basically the earth with the truth all right the truth with is which is really exposing them because they've built a whole system a global system based upon fraud usury and lies you see and We've been given, you would be given the truth to break the strongholds, right? Upon Israel and the whole world. Because the whole world's in disarray because of this devil. All right. So that makes us a big threat to his system. So he guess what? He's going to come down with great wrath because he's seen that the Israelites are waking up. All right. Primarily, you know, the elect. He doesn't know who the elect are, but he knows it's going to be a, 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 a small group that's going to resist him. All right. So let me go to this clip now play a little bit of what he got to say and uh, I'll bring a couple more precepts. State of emergency was just declared and governors are now warning that quarantines are being put into place. Quarantine zones are being established and also backyard poultry registries are being set up right now. All right, this is happening right now in the United States. Right, I'm going to show you guys the form and everything. This is insane. They're asking people to register their backyard flocks, tell everything, how many chickens you have, if they're sick, everything, everything. This is happening right now in the U.S. and it's being ordered by the government under a state of emergency. So let's get into the details here really quick, guys. Please just hit it up for me down there. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'm posting multiple videos a day, keeping you guys updated on all this big breaking news. All right, so this is what's happening right now in Colorado. Colorado just declared an emergency and they are saying that you have to register your backyard chickens. This is massive. This is big. And this is going to be the blueprint. Yeah. And this is going to piss a lot of people off if, if it hasn't already, because, you know, the right now, ever since 2020, you did have, you know, um, a small amount of people that were into homesteading for a while, but it really ramped up heavy, you know, in 2020. Up until now so the majority of people especially in america are homesteading so they got their own chickens they got their own um, um, um vegetables they got their own fruits you know so they got the they're, they're living off their own means with their with their own animals but hey as the scriptures say man he he heapeth he heapeth unto himself all nations right and all people right and he's gonna do that by what his laws right his draconian laws all right actually Unrighteous decrees, right? Let's see. Isaiah ten and one, real quick. Call all y'all by Shai. It's four forty one. Um, hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen. Oh, that's Jeremiah. My bad. Isaiah ten and one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, right? And these are unrighteous decrees because really you have no right to confiscate 
or, or to seize or to know the exact count of another man's um, um, flock, right? You know, the, the, the sheep, the chicken, you know, the fruits, the vegetables, everything he has in his, on his land, right? But then again, that's, that's the whole lie because you American people think that you own, you actually own land and that you actually own your, the land that you, that you live on. You don't own anything. Right? Everything has been lent to us. This is this system is based upon borrowing and lending. You know, and we're the borrower and they're the lender. Okay, as Israelites, we're the, it says that we'll be the tail and he shall be the head. Right? Well, he'll lend to us, and we will not borrow to him. Or roughly paraphrasing, you know, we not lend to him. So we're on the bottom in this man's society. All right, but hey. Even with that being told to Israel, they're still going to bug out because a lot of them don't believe the words that are coming out of the prophet's mouth. All right. And that's why a lot of you Israelites are going to get are going to get jacked up in Jacob's trouble, man, because you're, you're you're ignorant of the truth and willfully ignorant. Woe unto them that that decree unrighteous decrees that right grievousness, which they have prescribed. Right. They have prescribed the, to turn away the needy from judgment. Right. So that's justice, true justice, to actually administer true justice among um, within his economy is what doesn't happen at all with Esau Edom. And to take away the right from the poor, my people, right, of my people, the widows may be their prey and that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless, right? And that's everything is going to be about, hey, uh, Klaus Schwab said you will own nothing and you will love it. All right, so these devils are, are getting ready to consolidate every asset that's on this earth into, into one, right? And that's that NWO um, and the MOTB. So let's For go the rest of the states, here. this I can't even believe they're doing this, and it's concerning because they can do this anywhere. They can say there's a big outbreak here, and they just called almost 2 million chickens. I mean, got rid of almost 2 million chickens out of a single farm in Colorado. You can see here Governor Polis verbally declares disaster emergency to support Colorado agriculture in response to avian flu outbreak and Weld County support, right? And the support is coming in the form. And this is why we need to, you know, you know, rely on Yahweh Hashem Yashai because, you know, Esau is, 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 is doing the work here with these animals. He's killing them off. So who knows what we're going to be eating next year or two. You know what I mean? But all, you know, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yashai. And call halal Yahweh Hashem Yashai, of course. Um, you know, he's, he's going to be with his elect, all right? He's going to uh, be with his calling elect. Calling almost 2 million chickens, all right, at a single facility and the 1.78 million birds, all right? And also a form of help is going to be in a chicken registry, all right? So I want you to look at this really quick. This is the Colorado HPAI response for 2024 HPAI outbreak, okay? And you can see here, Weld 11. This is what this control area is called you can see quarantine area a quarantine area has been set up outside of denver colorado do you see this map all right quarantine area has been set up outside of denver colorado right now this is major control area quarantine area they are doing it they are doing this guys on july 8 2024 samples submitted here we go got some samples and i'm looking at dozens of chickens right here i'm not on the coop because it's almost 100 degrees every single day it's brutal out and it melts my brain when it's so hot, I can barely think and talk straight, right? So I like to sit in the car and watch the chicks. I have dozens of chicks over here, multiple coops, multiple breeds, laying, right? That's where we're going to start hashing them out and eating meat. But check this out. On July 8, 2024, samples submitted to the National Veterinary Services Laboratory tested positive for the HPAI, which is just the avian influenza, in a commercial egg laying facility in Weld County. The state veterinarian issued new quarantine order in parts of Weld County to limit movement of birds in and out of the area. If you are a commercial or backyard poultry owner in the quarantine area, please report the status of your flock using an online form. And here is what the form looks like, right? You can see here, this is a real form. This is a Google form from the Colorado Department of Agriculture Animal Health Division. It says poultry producer report form. And you saw that there, they even said backyard poultry owners as well. Backyard owners as well, it says poultry owners. Please fill out this form to report poultry on your premises, right? They're, they're doing it, guys. They're making these chicken registries and making everyone sign up and they might come to your house and take your birds and shove them in trash cans and trash bags. That's what they do. They come in hazmat suits and they put them on trash bags and tie them up while they're alive. Yeah, so very soon, you know, with this, um, I'm not going to play this whole video, but I just want to get the first bit of what he was talking about. But very soon with these 15-minute cities, man, it's just going to be a, um, 
you know, it's going to be like Big Brother on steroids. You know, this devil, it wants to have access to everything. You do, you think, you say, you feel, you know. And um, ultimately, it's just it's, it's just gearing people up for the MOTB, right? Uh, tracing and monitoring, tr uh, tracing and tracking everything we do. Say, think, and feel and touch, like I said. So let's go from here. Um, I had a couple, couple precepts that I was looking up online I want to read. And that'll be it. But... Um, yeah, so the first one here is Isaiah 32 and 7. The instruments also, the instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked, he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when they even when the needy speak right. And the needy that are speaking right are really the elect, starting with the, the 144,000, right? The prophets. Alright, that are teaching this truth. Okay, now, what is he dividing? He says the wicked divides, it says he divides wicked devices, devises wicked devices to destroy the poor. Again, and that's talking about the nation of Israel as a collective, but he also is after that, the, the, the elect, all right? The ones that are prophesied, prophesied to uh, stand against him, right? Lying words, man, that just goes into how this man uh, operates, all right? He, the, the demonization, of of the of the prophets okay that's coming down the pipe real soon we're gonna be demonized and hated all right of the earth for what we teach just like yahweh was at the time he was here on earth teaching okay um let's go on so lamentation 3 and 16 next one it says thou has heard their reproach O lord and all their imaginations against me that's right and that's why we have faith, because the most we know the Most High is in, in, is in control of everything, and we got the secrets. See, we have the inside scoop on what's really gonna happen, go down. So we have nothing to really be afraid of. All right, all all that we should be doing is working out our own fear, or working out our own salvation with fear and temp, with fear and trembling, and all that means that's a metaphor for being extremely uh, diligent and patient. Right, which is um, the the perfect combo for consistency. Someone who can be diligent and patient is someone who's going to be consistent. Right, and that's what we want to be in this truth. It's consistent, so the Lord can have mercy on us in you know in the time of His judgment. But we know that the Most High hears and knows all the imaginations of the wicked and all those that hate us. You know, especially especially within um, our own nation. And we're not worried, man. The Most Most High has uh, repeatedly, time and time again, protected His elect. All right, those that fear. Fear, uh, fear him, all right, and 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 to the best of their abilities through faith, are obedient. So we got, we're not worried. Psalms uh, thirty-seven and twelve, it says the wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth, and that's really the military, right? Because with teeth, what do you do with teeth? You you apply pressure to something that you want to tear apart. So your food, you want to tear it into pieces, bite-sized pieces that you can digest. So, um. What these devils, uh, the, the the tool or the instrument that these devils use to put pressure on the people is their military. All right, the military. That's where you're gonna get martial law. You're gonna have full on surveillance. All right, throughout the world, especially in America. You right. Thus say the scriptures, man. Proverbs fourteen and twenty two. Do they not err that devise evil, but mercy and truth? shall be to them that devise good. And that's what we're doing. We're devising good. Let's look up the word devise real quick. Devise. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Devise, right? It says to form, fashion, to plan, contrive, to think or study out, elaborate in the mind, and what we and that's what we do. We think, we meditate, and study out the scriptures, and meditate, right, within our minds of what what we're involved in, what's coming down the pipe, the level of faith that's going to be needed for each and one of us individually. All right, um, you know, the MOTB, the hour of temptation, Yahweh Shai's return, the destruction, the changing of the bodies. Right, the crown, the crowning, right of you, you know, of uh, the elect by Yahweh Shai. These, all these things are meditated in the hearts of the elect, man. 
Okay, so we're dividing. So what does the scripture say? Do they, uh, Proverbs 14 and 12 and 22, do they not err that divides evil, right? But mercy and truth shall be to them that divides good. All right. Uh, Proverbs 12 and 20, last one. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, right? But to the counselor of peace is joy. And we're the counselors of peace right now. Why? Because we're the one counseling the nation of Israel on what true peace is, according to the scriptures. All right. And that joy is going to be that joy is going to be the kingdom of heaven and the changed bodies under the new covenant. And the elect are going to, you know, they're going to enjoy the fruit of their labor. And not just in this life, but in all their lives. So that's going to be a beautiful thing, man. All praises to you, how about she But that's it on that. Bo Willem, this is edifying to the elect. Um, call halal you how about Shimil Shai by Shim Rakadash. Double honor to the apostles, elders, and bishops of uh, Great Millstone, all right, who have taught me this word in truth and sincerity and peace and mercy to the elect that's pushing this word out in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. All right, until next time, um, a ball, 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 Kwame Asha'Allah, and 